Hi, my name is Khaled Hosseini. Um, I was born in 1965 in Kabul and was fortunate to live through the final few years of what's now uh, you know, a forgotten era in Afghanistan. In those days, when I grew up in the 60s and 70s, Afghanistan was a country living in anonymity, at peace with itself and with its neighbors. And my personal recollections are of, of my childhood in Afghanistan are, are very happy and cheerful. Um, in 1976, my father was assigned to a diplomatic post at the Afghan embassy in Paris. He was a, a diplomat for the foreign ministry. And in October of that year, my family and I moved to Paris. Uh, we were supposed to be there for four years and then return to Kabul. But we never did because in April of 78, Afghanistan underwent a bloody communist coup. And in December of 1979, the Soviets invaded Afghanistan. And almost weekly, we would hear news about former friends, colleagues, family members who'd been imprisoned, tortured, killed, or just gone missing. And it became clear that we could not go back to Afghanistan. It was not safe for our family. So my father applied for political asylum in the US and we resettled in San Jose, California in 1980, in the fall of that year. Um, I think resettling was a difficult adjustment for my family, especially for my parents, but they persevered and they allowed us to uh, uh, go and get an education while they worked. And I'm happy and proud to say that today, um, all five of us, me and my four siblings, um, have settled in well and that we have become, all of us, in our own way, a productive and contributing members to our, our communities. Um, I've told some version of my life story, I guess, through the lives of characters in my books. And maybe there's a writer or two uh, in the audience among you. And if so, uh, I would urge you to pick up a pen and, and write your story. I'm sure each of you has lived a life that would fill at least a novel or two or maybe even more. Uh, but I would urge you to tell your story, however you choose to do it, because you have something very important and fundamental to say. And there's no one on earth who's better qualified uh, uh, or better suited to tell it uh, than you are. Each of you has a valuable and individual perspective. Um, the world today is undergoing a displacement crisis that is you know, almost unparalleled in scope. And the world needs to hear from you. It needs to hear um, your stories. Your life experiences are windows into the plight of millions of people uh, whose voices otherwise would go unheard. And you, all of you in the audience, each and each and every one of you can be the voice um, for those people. And, and don't think um, that your stories will fall on deaf ears. Uh, your stories will be heard because despite what you may have heard, uh, there is a capable um, and willing and enthusiastic audience out there that's eager to learn, that's eager to be educated and eager to be enlightened uh, through your narratives and your life experiences. And I would say that there is no better time uh, for your advocacy than now because of the incredible array and range of tools that are at your, at your disposal. Um, thanks to technology, for instance, you can become active on Facebook or on Twitter to spread your message. Uh, you can join online refugee discussion forums uh, to follow refugee-related groups um, or, or to keep abreast of refugee current affairs. Uh, I would urge you to contact your local government agencies or your local NGOs to become involved in projects uh, that help refugees. Uh, I would urge you to share your story with the local press, whether it's print or whether it's broadcast or online. Share your stories or the stories of other uh, uh, refugees in the community. Uh, the important thing is to understand that you have uh, an incredible uh, uh, array of ways in which you can engage with the local community through different channels and spread your message about refugees and about asylees that have been resettled in the United States. Um, you know, you have, as I said, an incredible story to tell that needs to be told. There are people willing and, and eager to hear from you. And there's so many different ways for you to advocate on behalf of millions of people. So I wish you luck and I wish you perseverance. I thank you in advance 
for the work that you're doing. And I thank you also for allowing me to be part of the Refugee Congress 2013. Thank you so much.